This is a special service announcement. With the eclipse only one week away, it is especially important to pay attention to this announcement. The fate of your images and videos of the eclipse requires that you act upon the advice given in this video. Like, as in, no kidding, for real, you must act on the advice given in this video. Look, we all know the truth. We astrophotographers control the weather. If we don't buy astrophotography gear, there's good weather. And if we do buy stuff, the weather gets bad. Einstein recognized this and created an equation to describe it. Like the theory of relativity, it looks pretty simple. It's fairly basic, but it describes the problem well. The chance of bad weather is directly proportional to the kind, number, and expense of astrophotography gear that has been bought. So if we're going to have good weather for this eclipse, you must not buy astrophotography equipment during this week. Just as importantly, friends don't let friends buy astrophotography equipment this week. If you can stop them, do so. If you can't stop them, go at least 500 miles away if you're planning to try to film the eclipse. Psychology majors also understand that the language that we use also affects the weather. And when it comes to making sure that we have good clear skies for events such as an eclipse, it is absolutely important not to express that we want good clear skies for that event. If you really want to make sure that you have good clear skies, tell your friends how much you're hoping for some really cloudy skies during the eclipse. Go on forums such as cloudy nights and create posts about how much you enjoy filming the undersides of clouds, especially when something really awesome like an eclipse is going on. Talk about how nobody really appreciates the value of clouds. Everybody wants to film the sky, but nobody wants to film the underside of clouds. And really get into talking about how all those other astrophotographers are missing such a treat. And they really need to appreciate that clouds themselves are sky objects. I mean, they are sky objects, right? Get into that. Explain how much you love it. Because in another Einsteinian equation, Einstein described this effect. The chance of clear skies is inversely proportional to how much an astrophotographer wants them. So fundamentally, if an astrophotographer wants to make sure that they have good clear skies, you need to act like you really want cloudy skies. Basically, you need to apply reverse psychology on the sky. Finally, you do not want to prepare early. If you prepare early, like if you go out there a day or two early, get everything properly set up, calibrated, all ready to go, you can be sure that you're going to have cloudy, stormy weather whenever that astronomical event is going to happen. Last minute, haphazard, and chaotic preparation is the absolutely best way to make sure that you'll have crystal clear skies overhead. It's even better if it's so haphazard and chaotic that a lot of your stuff fails. You know, your USB cables develop a flaw and won't work just right, and you have to scramble for two hours to figure out just what the problem is, and you're checking out all of your firmware and drivers, and it just turns out to be that the USB cable needs to be pushed in another couple millimeters. That's the kind of thing that really guarantees good weather, especially if you miss filming a couple hours of it. And with all of that said, I just wanted to take a moment to wish everybody from here at the Sky Story Observatory, happy April 1st. We'll be bringing you lots more good, solid, scientifically founded information throughout the rest of the year.